Howdy y'all, hope you're having a great morning. I am, cause guess what I found? Yay, I found my bee bottle uh, that I got from of Mademoiselle from Guerlain that I bought from Hong Kong with my when I went on a trip with my buddies um, in 2018. And it still has the, uh, the cool wax stamps on it. So they put these wax stamps on it um, to keep it the box, the top and bottom of the box together. And I hoofed it all the way back from Hong Kong. And yeah, I'm gonna share it with you. Here we go. Ta-da! Isn't this beautiful? This, I have to say that this is like, so um, if you go into the Guerlain Boutique, which there is one of in um, Harbor City, I think one of the biggest malls in Hong Kong, <clears throat> they have a standalone, uh, they have a boutique inside the mall. And the it was such a cute small boutique. Um, it wasn't like the main boutique in like Paris, uh, the, where you can get all the rare ones and you can refill your bottles and stuff like that. But it was still really cute and cool. And I wasn't expecting it because um, <clears throat> my friend um, messed up her iPhone and we went to the busiest freaking Apple store in the world um, right across the street. And um, we had waited for hours, even though we had like, um, an appointment and uh, I, I, I had to go to the restroom and the Apple people said we could not use their restroom. It was only for staff. Can you freaking imagine that? After making us, I mean, they still hadn't gotten to us and I saw, you know, it was a couple, like an hour already. So I, I saw the uh, mall across the street and I was like, well, I'm gonna just go across the street to the mall. So I went, I found the bathroom and I was just walking around the mall and it was really early yet in the morning and Hong Kong people don't get out and shop until like noontime or something, you know, or, or late, really late morning, like right before noon. So uh, even the stores were open, there was like nobody. So I was walking around and I saw the girl on store, boom, I was there like, you know, a bee drawn to honey. I mean, a bee drawn to flowers. They make honey, duh. Uh, which is apt because, of course, the um, animal or the motif, the symbol of Guerlain is the bee, the the hardworking honey bee. And this um, box is also embossed all over with bees as well. Sorry, it's in like a beat up type of like. Um, thing. So they even affixed the the same color like a uh, label uh, as the bottle. So let me take this out. And this is Mademoiselle. I don't know if it's still around, but this is like a, a super delightful um, galbanum. Uh, it has like, let me see. It has like uh, all these cool notes uh, that I love. Um, it's um, has the Guerlainade, uh, bergamot, orange, lemon, you know, that slightly Fruit Loops type of uh, uh, Guerlainade, very bright, um, happy, uh, wonderfully blended, not not super sharp and citrus and tart, um, but it has it with galbanum. Galbanum is like a, a sort of herbal, like plant that gives like a slightly bittersweet um, green, uh, note, uh, galbanum was used in a lot of perfumes in the 1980s to give green, so it's a little bit sharp, but when you mix sharpness of green, galbanum, with the lemons and bergamot and orange, guerlainade, it's outstanding. It's it's just like the perfect blend. Um, so it's um, got iris, which is a little bit powdery, marshmallow, orange blossom, so it, it keeps being slightly fruity and violet leaf for freshness. But then in the in the base notes, there's vanilla, which is, you know, the same as the Guerlain is famous for the vanilla, but it also has leather and musk. So even though, <clears throat> okay, let me show you the bottle that it came in. So this is the um, original bottle. It used to be one of these bee bottle types that you can get for like 200 something dollars and um, be in one of these uh, bottles. So the bottle, it's the original bottle is not actually um 
it's not pink it's actually clear but the liquid was pink and it looks like this and i mean if you saw that and you saw the name mademoiselle it's like the perfectly fitting name for it and this is a fragrantica by the way that's where i look up all my stuff and i love i've loved this you know forever um, of course, in America, but I was stupid in that I thought that this would last forever. So, of course, I didn't buy the cheaper of that bottle. <clears throat> but when I got to Hong Kong um, and I saw the... Uh, so, they have these bottles um, just empty and they have them in all this... They, it's all lined up on a shelf and they they range from like bright, like daffodil yellow orange like a beautiful like a uh, clear bright red then they have magenta and then they have dark violety purple and then they have this like this beautiful uh cobalt turquoise color and you know i was like i mean i normally would not have bought this but let me just say when you're on vacation your it's just your caution flies through the window and you know rightly so you know what i mean you're on vacation to get away from your normal humdrum life so of course when i saw this i was like yeah yay you know and i think also in hong kong they might not have sales tax correct me if i'm wrong but anyways i was like okay whatever you only live once i'm on vacation so i went and got this and <clears throat> i am super glad that i did uh so when i came home uh, they give you this, uh, this is like a dabber bottle with a stopper, um, but they give you uh, a box, a separate box with a funnel, a, a mini funnel and a small, like, um, it's not that small, but it's like a small uh, frosted glass bee bottle with the spray inside that you can decant this into that bee bottle. And I think the bee bottle thing is maybe like 30 ounces or maybe like half an ounce or something. It's quite a goodly amount because as you can see, a, a, a large, uh, quite a large dent is in here because of the, um, of the decanting. And I, for the love life of me, I cannot remember where the hell I put that decant. I'm just gonna, it's probably in one of my purses that I stuffed in the back of my closet. So I'm gonna have to do some digging for that and bring it out and wear it. Cause um, I dabbed some onto my wrist today and it's just delightful and yeah i'm wondering you know since i bought this is it possible for me to get a refill if it's no longer in production do they make like exceptions for people that bought these yeah that also kind of makes me wonder like i have like another like limited edition Guerlain and now I don't know whether I can get that refilled or not. In that case I'll probably just have to dab this on once in a while you know and not go crazy with it. The only thing that I regret well it's not really a regret but it is kind of like a regret is because the liquid is pink it kind of makes this cobalt blue color kind of ugly don't you think it kind of slightly clashes with it uh, I mean it's just trifles but still uh, and also I don't know why but I got, I chose the Guerlain uh, symbol the sticker on it with um with like the Eiffel Tower I don't know I think maybe it's possible they didn't have one for Hong Kong or something or the one for Hong Kong wasn't that nice and I didn't choose it so even though I went to Hong Kong I got the Eiffel Tower on it. Uh, and also, I just wanted to say that I think they said that they can, like, uh, drill your, I mean, they can, like, um, engrave your name on it on the, over here or something like that. But I didn't choose to because it was going to take a while. And also, um, you know, because I wasn't sure, you know, how long that Apple store thing was going to take. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. This is Mademoiselle by Guerlain. And um, yeah, it's in the bee bottle. These bee bottles, I think, are still available um, in the boutiques for you to um, to get. And I think, like, um, once you uh, use this up, you can refill it with any perfume. However, I don't know if the perfume that, if it's, like, a discontinued perfume, maybe they won't have it anymore. I don't know. But, you know, I've heard that certain perfumes, like, uh, are only sold at the main store in Paris, like, um, 
gourmand cocaine or something like that. So yeah, I'm still holding out hope. Uh, but yeah, this is my bottle of Mademoiselle Guerlain. It's a beautiful, slightly fruity, slightly powdery uh, vanilla leather. So, and a little bit of musk. So it's a very, very feminine, but it's actually not very feminine. It's actually unisex. Mademoiselle kind of is kind of like a misnomer, I think. Men and women can wear this. It's it's really delightful. It's not as powder puffy as you think because of the marshmallow notes and the guerlainade. The guerlainade is really bright and delightful, but remember it has galbanum and leather at the same time. So it's uh, uh, one of these yin-yang unisex perfumes that is just really cool. So if you ever get a chance to smell this, then I'd say go for it, yeah. But anyways, I just wanted to share it with you. It's too beautiful not to share. Have a great day and please like and subscribe. Bye.